stop. Do not use this command. Git add dot is a terrible command because it adds everything. I actually think it should be removed from Git, but that's another discussion. Please do not use this command. Senior devs do not use this command. It is highly risky. You'll probably add files that you don't want to add. What you should do instead is be specific and add the files you want. So when you come to do a git commit, there are two ways that you could do this. You could do git commit with a message and then here specify the files, any files that you want. So for example, index.js, and then you could do a space and do another file and you could do a wildcard, that's also acceptable. Always make sure you do a git status minus s to check afterwards. Another thing you could do is actually stage commit and just like we did before with the add, instead of adding a dot, you could then specify index.js or whatever files you have, source and start, and you could do that. And then when you stage them, when you do a git status minus s, it will show you what is staged. So currently, this file is not tracked by git. Now, if I did a git add dot, it would add this and other files that are here. This is why your git ignore is super important, but that's a separate discussion. I have a video on that already. I recommend staging. You could do git add, specify the file that you want. So in this case, I could just do the source and I then, then do a git status and it shows that it's been added, it's been staged. And that's really important to check that before you do the commit. And then when you do your commit, you don't actually have to specify anything afterwards because it will only commit the stage files, the ones that are green. And if you have other ones that are listed, so for example, if I just create a test file here, that's supposed to be txt, but that's fine. And now if I do a status, you can see when I do a git commit, it won't commit this file. And if by mistake you've added something that you shouldn't, you can do git reset. And now if I do a status again, you can see it is no longer tracked. I mean, I could change another file. Let me change the readme and I'm just gonna put a space up here just as an example. We're not gonna commit this, don't worry. And now we have got a modified file that isn't staged because it's on the right hand column. So if I do a git add source again and I do a git status, you can see the readme is modified but not staged and the number format is staged. So if I do a git commit like this without specifying any files and I'll, I can say whatever message I wanted here and hit enter, it would commit this file because it is staged and this one is not. Please do not do a dot at the end. Just like with the git add dot, do not put a dot at the end because it will take staged and unstaged files into your commit, which you probably don't want. This is why your pull requests have more files than you want it to have. And while there's this back and forward conversation and it makes you look junior when you have lots of added files that you don't want in your pull request. And so one thing you can do is after you have done a commit and push, Go check your pull request to make sure it has got all the files that you want. How do you manage your files when doing commits? Let me know in the comments below.